pag paired, left and right meron. Okay? So, yung dalawang unpaired, ayun yung unang-unang branch ng abdominal aorta. So, makikita niyo yun. We have the So, the first one is known as the Submesa? Superior mesentery artery. Mesentery siya? Mesenteric artery. Superior mesenteric artery. Celiac. 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 Okay? So ngayon, pag tinrace natin yung celiac artery, it will branch into... It has three branches. Okay. Have my laptop. The celiac artery will have three branches. The first one is the hepatic artery. From the name itself, we go to the we go to the liver. Okay, hepatic artery. Next, we have the Sereno, left gastric. Sir, na po tong green isa. This is the spleen. Spleen. This is the left gastric artery. Okay, and the third one is the splenic artery. Splenic. Okay? Tapos yung splenic artery, pag tinrace niyan, magbe-break down, magbe-branch it into two. We have the right and left splenic artery. Okay? So ito, left splenic Ito yung right splenic artery. Okay? Supposedly, itong right splenic artery na to, meron tong branch. Okay? And ito, meron din tong branch. Okay? Ang branch ng right splenic is the left gastroepiploic artery. This is the left gastro epiploic artery. Okay? Ang branch ng left splenic is the short gastric. So, ano pa yung L? Left. Left. Short gastric artery. Okay? From the name itself, yung short gastric artery, pupunta yan ang stomach. Itong left gastro epiploic Bubunta yan sa left portion of the greater curvature. Okay? Left gastroepiploic. Next. Okay? So, dito na tayo sa mga paired branches. The first paired branch will be the Bubunta yan sa Adrenal gland. Okay? Pero, hindi lang siya magta-terminate doon. Magpapasso lang siya doon, tapos pupunta pa yun further into the lumbar region of the of the uh, peritoneal cavity. Kaya ang tawag sa kanya is the adrenolumbar artery. Okay. Sir, ano po yun? Sir, para may direct to the bloodstream yung adrenal secretion? Um, take note that this supplies blood. Uh -huh. Adrenal lumbar 
Sir, sir, yung A, A, ad, adrenal gland, yun yung nagsisupply ng blood? A, um, adrenal lumbar artery. Sir, hindi. Lahat yung... ng artery is nagsisupply. Ah, okay. Okay, next. After the, the adrenal lumbar artery, meron naman tayong pupunta sa kidney. Okay, what's the name of that gland, artery? Hepato. Hepato lumbar. No. Renal artery. Okay? We have the uh, renal. Okay. Next. After the renal artery, meron naman tayong blood vessel na maliit pupunta sa gonads. Okay? So we have the gonadal artery. Okay? If it's female, you call that ovarian artery. But if it's male, you call that internal spermatic artery. Okay? Hindi niya pa pwedeng sabihin spermatic artery lang. Kasi may, may external spermatic artery. Okay? Pero itong galing dito sa abdominal aorta, it's the internal spermatic artery. Okay? Pero ang lalagay ko lang dito ay gonadal. Okay? Gonadal artery. Okay? After the gonadal artery, magkakaroon ka ng maliliit na artery dito sa likod. So these are the lumbar arteries. Lumbar arteries. After the lumbar artery, meron ka makikita femoral, median, the third median and paired. Okay, take note ha, median and paired and paired lateral. Kasi yung sabi ko. Okay, yung third, so lumalabas yung tatlong median and paired, the celiac, the superior mesenteric, and the third one is the inferior mesenteric, di ba? This is the superior, and dito yung inferior mesenteric artery. Okay? The inferior mesenteric artery has two branches. Okay? Yung isa pa taas, yung isa pa baba. Yung pataas, pupunta yan sa descending colon. Therefore, it's known as the left colic artery. Okay? <laughs> yung isa naman, pupunta sa rectum. So, it's the superior hemorrhoidal or rectal artery. Okay? Superior hemorrhoidal. So, yun L colic. Or superior rectal, pinakadali, superior rectal artery. Sino po itong L? Colic. Left colic artery. Left colic lang. Okay. After the inferior mesenteric artery, meron na tayong horizontally placed na paired ulit. That's the iliolumbar artery. Yeah, the Then, makikita na natin ito yung gaganan siya. Parang monkey. Idrasid. Isi pa, bakit parang monkey? Ito yung dalawang arms niya. Ito yung dalawang pa. Tapos may tail. Saan, sir? Sir, nakawid ka, no? Nakadrag siya ito ito siya. Nakakita ng monkey eh. Sir, saan? Saan yung tail, sir? Nakikita mo na yung monkey. Sir, hindi pa rin. Ito yung arms. Ito yung feet. Tapos ito yung tail. Mamaya makikita niya, ma-observe niya yung sukat. So, this is the... Kapakit naman ng unggul na yun. External iliac. External iliac artery. Then, this is the internal iliac artery. So, guys, since I'm in the video, mag-list yung case comment page. And this is the caudal. Okay, caudal artery. Kapunta yan sa tail, di ba? 
Sabi ko naman sa inyo. Pero hindi demo kayo 20 minutes lang. Uh, Internal iliac, then caudal. Sibuti ko nothing comes up. <laughs> so, yun dami naman yan. So, itong uh, iliac, external iliac, internal iliac, may mga branches pa yan pabunta sa... Itong external iliac, pag nag-pass through na yan ng abdomen, pupunta na yan dito sa legs, yung nakikita nyo, di ba, may dumadaan. So, that's the femoral artery. Just in case. Okay? May gina siyang femoral artery. Lastly, itong branches of the superior mesenteric artery. Okay? So, yung superior mesenteric artery has five branches. <laughs> has five branches. Okay? So, five branches. One, two, three, four, five. Right? So, what are the five branches of the superior mesenteric artery? So, first one is the... Middle colic. Okay, we have the middle colic artery. Don't worry, don't take it. Middle colic. Then, we have the... Ito, huling-huli, it's intestinal. So, magigiyang ganun. Okay, yung marami. Di ba, pag binubuksan niya yung uh, mesentery proper, parang, ano, kasi ito yun. Yung intestinal arteries. Okay. So, ang kulang ay, ito, meron dito, Posterior pancreatico duodenal artery. Pancreatico duodenal. Okay. Sir, kung magawa. Then we have the right colic. By the way, middle colic po punta yan dun sa from the name itself. Wuna yan sa transverse colon. While the right colic, pupunta yan sa ascending colon. Right colon. And then, we have the iliocolic artery. Alala niyo yung iliocolic valve? Doon yan pupunta sa may iliocolic valve. Sir, ito pong limang to, sir, di ba? Branches of the superior mesenteric artery. Ito, superior mesenteric artery. Sir, so itong limang to, itong limang to sir, ito, ito po yun. Middle colic, then actually itong ang uh, right colic, kung titignan natin ang actual, okay, it's more of the most common case is that, ito yung right, ito yung iliocolic, nagbabranch lang dun yung right colic. Okay. Most of the case, ganun. parang lumalabas, apat lang talaga sila. Pero in some cases, direct tong naka-attach dun, five. So, ang pinaka-importante dito na kailangan nyo rin i-note is variable ang case ng connections between the blood vessels. Hindi siya fixed na in all cuts, ganito yung architecture ng blood vessels. Okay? Dapat open kayo sa fact na may variability. Pwede yung ito naka-attach doon, pwede yung ito naka-attach dito. Pero nilunote ko naman yun. Katulad din ito, di ba? Minsan tatlo to, minsan dalawa. So, so dapat, nila. depende sa cut nyo yun. Tingnan nyo kung ano yung lalabas. Okay? May mga ganun kasi. So, yun mas madali pag tatlo o dalawa? Ito yung pinaka... Ito yung mas madali. Ay, sir, dalawa na lang. Eh, dalawa lang. Brachycephalic and subclavian. Uh, okay. Dalawa na lang, sir. I may choice. Choice yan. Sir, dalawa na lang. Hindi, depende yan sa cut. Hindi sir, yan depende sa atin. Sir, huwag nga natin sa may mga cut na tatlo. Gano. Sir, hindi natin na pag-aralan eh. Hindi dapat kasama yun. Void yun. So, next, last discussion. Okay, itong hepatic artery, pag din-raise nyo yan, diba? Okay, ito siya. Pupunta yan sa liver, diba? Pero bago yan pumunta sa liver, magkakaroon niya ng isang branch, papunta sa gallbladder. Okay? 
Ang tawag doon ay cystic artery. Huh? Diba? Kasi bubunta siya sa galvan. Lumis ka. Hepatic artery. Okay? Pero, bago yan mag, mag branch, magkaroon ng branch sa cystic artery, meron pa yung isang branch called the gastroduodenal branch. Okay? Or the gastroduodenal artery. Sir, so ito sir. Continuation lang nito. Galing yan dito sa hepatic artery. Ah, so, ito yung race mo yung hepatic artery. So, from there, all the way to there. Okay. okay. Yung gastroduodenal artery, it has three branches. Okay? So, ano itong tatlong branches ng gastroduodenal artery? We have the pyloric artery. From, papunta yun ng pylorus. Okay? Pyloric artery. We have the right gastroepiploic. Okay? Right gastroepiploic. Papunta naman yan. Pag gastroepiploic kasi class, ito, bibigyan ko na kayo ng clue. Pag gastroepiploic kasi, ito yung stomach, di ba? May tatlong point of entry yan sa greater curvature. Dito, dito, tsaka dito. Okay? So, yun ang dito, left portion. Andito yung left, gastroepiploic. Di ba? Andito yung right, gastroepiploic. Andito yung middle, gastroepiploic. Okay, supposedly, para ma-imagine nyo pag naririnig yung word na yun, sabihin, dun yan kakabit. Okay? Left, middle, right. Pag yung colon naman, okay, di ba meron tayo ascending, transverse, and descending? Diba? So, ang mga kakabit dun, we have the right colic, the middle colic, and the left colic. Sabihin, dun yun. Okay, yung mga terms na yun. Kasi sabi left colic, ito yun. Pupunta yan sa descending colon. Okay, yun yung mga terminologies. Tabusin na natin ito. So, therefore, pag sinabing right gas epiploic, dapat i-imagine nyo na supposedly dun yan kakabit. Okay? Then, the last one is the anterior pancreatico duodenal. Maba naman yan? Si pwede bang 18 na lang? So, bakit ayun yung mga magkakasama? Tinan nyo ha? Kasi diba ito, after the stomach is the duodenum. Tapos, andito yung pancreas. Diba? This is the pancreas. This is the stomach. And this is the duodenum. Pag ginagawa nyo yung pancreas. Naka drugs. So kung titignan nyo, it makes sense bakit ito yung tatlong branches ng gastroduodena. Kasi yung hepatic, eh di ba ito yung liver. So kung ito yung hepatic artery, yan, magkakaroon nyo ng branch gastroduodenal artery. Ito, pupunta na ito sa hepatic gums. Ito yung cystic artery. Diba? Sir, wala bang other name yung mga yan? Wala. Ay. So it makes sense na ito yung tatlong branches niya. Isa pupunta sa pylorus. <laughs> Pyloric artery. Aba. Yung isa pupunta sa right gastroepiploic and yung isa pupunta sa anterior pancreatico duodenal. Okay, bakit anterior pancreatico duodenal? Pancreas duodenum. And that's where it got its name. Kasi di ba magkadikit silang dalawa? So, isa lang yung nagsusupply sa kanila. Tapos, kaya anterior kasi supposedly dalawa yung point of entry. So, pwede dito sa taas or sa baba. Pag sa baba, Posterior pancreatic o duodenal. Pag sa taas, anterior pancreatic o duodenal. Sir, okay? Sir, wala bang shorter name yan? Sir, kasi 2 minutes lang meron kami sa exam. As in... Lagay nyo P, A, P, D, R. Ay, A. A, P, D, A. Pwede ka nun. A, P, D, A. Sir, what A? For that lang. Kasi na sobrang haba nga naman niya. Ito rin ga... Ayun, tama. A, P, D. Pangkreatiko do anterior pangkreatiko. Hindi, kaya nito nila. Oh, oh, and and pang pangkreatiko do anterior artery. Siguro pa hindi naman yun. And PDA. 
Diba? Anterior, pangkreatin ko doon din ang artery. I will accept that. Diyan na talaga yun, no? Mga inisipin na diyan eh. So, kung titignan din natin, para mas ma-imagine nyo itong superior mesenteric artery. Diba? So, magkakaroon nyo ng ito siya. Susupply yan dun sa middle colic. Diba? Tapos, So, hindi ba kakayanin yung veins? Tsaka art, yung, yung demonstration ng artery, tsaka ng... Gusto mo, papasok na lang tayo para mag-exam? Hindi, sir. I mean, so hindi kaya, ng, hindi kaya yung veins, tsaka yung demonstration ng artery in one meeting? Hindi Kasi yung veins, ganito rin kahaba yung veins. Hindi, hindi. Mungo pa yun. So, wala bang common name, common name yung veins? Parehas. Sir, gawa ka na rin mga A, APDA, APD, B, o WTF. Okay, I have a good news for you. Pag inaral natin yung veins, ay hindi yung mga pangalan ng vein. Papalman mo lang yung artery ng veins. Uh -huh. so, therefore, pag na familiar kayo sa lahat ng mga diniscuss natin today, okay, pag familiar kayo doon, then at the same time, familiar kayo kung saan siya usually nakalukit, di ba? Without may idea kayo eh, kung saan nakaka-region siya, nakakabit. Eh di mas madali nyo na maaral yung veins. Ang pinagkaiba lang ng arteries and veins is magkaiba sila ng network. Okay? Magkaiba sila ng 